Well, North Texas concert venues are reviewing and making security changes following that deadly attack. CBS 11's Brittany Jeffers joins us live at the American Airlines Center with what's being done ahead of tonight's concert. Brittany. Russ, that concert scheduled to take place tonight here at 730, but I checked in with American Airlines Center reps and they tell me right now they are busy. They're going over and reviewing security policy policies and plans. I also spoke with some people who plan on going to the concert tonight. And they tell me that they anticipate seeing some changes. Well, I was horrified simply because I was literally packing to go to the airport. Tracy Acuna was preparing to take a red eye from Oregon to Dallas to see the new kids on the block in concert when the news from Manchester showed up on her TV. It didn't stop Tracy from boarding that flight, and she's going to the performance. And the ripple effect of the tragedy overseas can be felt in North Texas with added security measures. I'll be shocked if I don't see more security. But, you know, the, the good... The, the best kind of security is the security you don't see. American Airlines Center issued this statement saying in part it will review security plans and make any adjustments deemed necessary. The added security effort started last night. Despite zero intelligence of any similar planned attacks, Grand Prairie Police also made the decision to increase security for the John Legend show at the Verizon Theater. People in Texas say while the extra security makes them feel better, it's also an unfortunate reality. It was hard to think about, but I'm not going to stop living my life. I'll think about it, but not live dwelling on it. American Airlines Center representatives say that it is part of their company policy, however, that they can't go into detail to release any kind of specific changes that would take place. Reporting live here in Dallas, I'm Brittany Jeffers, CBS 11 News. All right, Brittany, thank